Here is my new 2015 Chevy cutaway chassis with a Redding CSV body on the back of it. The body is all aluminum, lightweight, I think it only weighs about 1500 pounds, I could be wrong, but uh, I have had the FRP uh, Utilimaster and the FRP Supreme and uh, I think I'm going to like this box. Should get a little better gas mileage over the uh, 9 or 10 which I usually get. Again this has a 6 liter engine, power windows, power door locks which I've never had on a truck. And I'll show you around the inside. The first thing you'll notice on the truck is when I approach the truck you're going to get a beep. And that is the toolboxes in the vehicle unlocking automatically with the key fob that I have in my pocket. So we'll step a little closer and right now the truck is completely locked up. And there it is. The truck is completely locked up now. Okay, I'm going to approach the truck. The key fob is on the ground behind me. And we will see that, well, hopefully the door is locked. And it is. I cannot open this. And if we go to the back door, it should be the same way. Door is locked. Okay, now I now have the key fob back in my pocket. And uh, we'll approach the truck. And you'll hear the beep. Okay, I just heard all the lock, locks unlocked, and here we are. And now I can get in, hopefully get in the back of the truck. And that's, that's how it works. As long as you have the key fob, no need to lock and unlock each individual door. So we'll get inside the truck here. and uh, unlock the door. Okay, this is the interior of the Redding CSV. I've got four side boxes on either side and I'll show you how I have them set up. This one's right behind the driver's door and I have my Vito Pro Pack tool bag, my thermometer, Got my impact driver, and I've got a Makita drill right here, 18 volt, and good place to put my oil and tall stuff. Each box is individually lit. Okay, we'll take a look at another door. vacuum pump got my tubing box for for small um, tubing repair jobs um, I got tubing cutters in there and a few benders and here's my digital scale and I have my back rack electronic leak detector H10 this is stuff I use frequently insulation tape soldering stuff, leak detector, liquids. I got a couple socket sets in there, gear puller, vacuum gauge, backup thermometer, digital thermometer. Rear door, driver's side, I got tall stuff in here. Nitrogen, backup oxygen, Backup MC tanks, fire extinguisher. It's my uh, yellow jacket dye kit and my recovery unit. Passenger side rear door. I've got my propylene cylinder, my nitrogen set up oxyacetylene 
I've got a turbo torch up here. It's kind of a mess, but I got torch tips in there. Okay, here we go. This is still the passenger side. Uh, screws, nuts, bolts. This is my hardware department wire nut kit. All my copper fittings and electrical fittings, electrical connectors. Moving forward, we start to get a little empty here. But my Milwaukee and Makita chargers with spare batteries. It's my yellow jacket ratchet tubing bender. Selection of, of drill bits up there. Right behind the passenger door. That's for the alarm and the door locks and all the boxes. They call it Latchmatic. You got the wide mirrors on the truck, which I like. Here is the view from the back. Again, it is the Redding CSV classic service van, 10 foot body, all aluminum. It's got the pipe doors on it, but I'm not really going to use it for pipe. I've got shelving set up in front of it, so I'm going to use it for hand cleaner and easy access to towels. And that's about all I use it for. Okay, going inside, I've got a four foot ladder, six foot ladder, and my little giant clone. A couple sets of JB manifold gauges, which I really like. Stepping up inside. I didn't have this in my last truck. A lot of the stuff I took out of my last truck, which was a Utilimaster 10 foot box. Um, I did not have this in my last truck, but I think it's going to help me stay a little organized. There's different, different hangers and fittings, some rotor locks in here. Oddball copper stuff. I bought these boxes at Staples. I have my contactors in here. PVC fittings up top. A few cords. I've got oddball controls up here. Um, the frost termination stuff and fan controls. My start three in one start kits. Basically, my ice machine library with some manitoic parts up there. A selection of capillary tubes. Here's my filter dryer section. I try to, try to carry at least one of everything on the smaller stuff. Uh, I've got multiple and my moisture indicators are in there too. I've got some TXVs, um, oddball, I don't know how I, I accumulate them, but solenoid valves and coils, 3 8 and half inch MKC ones and MKC twos. Potential relays, Mars, I try to carry all of them, but I probably am missing a few of them. Rubber gloves, this is my motor section, or one of my motor sections, uh, 4 watt through 50 watt usually, 9721 Fasco, I got a couple of them, they're nice to have, they can replace quite a few motors there. My refrigerant section, I carry quite a few flavors, 404, 507, 409, 408, 502, 134A, 22, 407, A and C, 410A. And uh, I don't know, maybe I missed something. And I have a few backup over here. Copper tubing. A little bit of wire. I've got some motors here. I've got Copeland and Tecumseh, the common ones. And I've got uh, condenser fan motors. I don't carry evaporator fan motors, really. I do mostly commercial refrigeration. So I carry 
quarter, third, half horsepower motors in the OEM stuff. Here we have uh, some small Copeland relays and overloads. Here we have some Tecumseh relays. Here's my larger Copeland capacitors and relays and such. They go quite a, quite a ways back there. My library with some catalogs. Okay, some more motors. Going up top are my controls and timers. I carry a good assortment of defrost timer, Grassland 8145 20s, some of the more common refrigeration stuff. Again, I'm set up for refrigeration now. One thing I started using was these KE2 temperature control slash defrost control. So far I like them. Moving back, I've got a collection of reclaim tanks. And one thing I put on my truck this time was a vise. Basically I can undo the bungee cords. It's kind of held in here at the bottom. Undo the bungee cords and slip it out and throw it in my trailer hitch. my capacitor draw run and start capacitors I carry quite a few going up top I got my larger power tools and another backup digital thermometer um, I really hate to be without digital thermometers. I carry two or three of them. Angle grinder, rivet tool, pop rivet tool, heat gun, DeWalt half inch drill, hammer drill. And a few more extension cords. little harder to get to up here but some small fan blades mostly little Tecumseh and Copeland fan blades up in here I got some Raychem heat tapes small assortment of them jumper cables for my truck Fenner power twist universal belts I don't carry a lot of belts on my truck I don't over here I got fuse kit, fuses up to about 60 amps in there, in the draw, another H10 leak detector, yet another digital thermometer, this goes way back, I don't know if, if there's a battery in it, but this is LED. This is one of the first ones to come out. I haven't used it much lately, but you old timers probably know what this is. Don't see them for sale anymore. An old timer gave it to me and uh, it's nice to have. That's pretty much the whole truck.